I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes it's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51, everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I already know that I can cuff you, I'm a cheater. Hey, uh, stick up. This to all my exes, I let go, I don't miss ya. Put your flesh in sticks, light show, we gon' get ya. Pussy got me out of this world if I kiss ya. Put some respect on your name if I hit ya. Middle school, inner school, tryna get a lissa. If it's up, then it's stuck, slide, I won't dish ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, cause we gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. What's poppin' with the population, respectfully? Let's. Rap about none other than Sue Surf. Sue Surf quit. Is Sue Surf quitting battle rap? Is he not going to battle anymore? Um, while I don't believe this per se, there are some things to talk about. So he went on Twitter and he said a bunch of things. And you know, uh, he often he has trolled. He he talks his shit. And you know, I I I, I got to thinking about it. Right. Um, first thing he said. And I quote, and I quote, he said, Battle rap farewell. And then put the running emoji with the little run, 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 run. Living in these niggas' thoughts, rent free. Living rent free, rent free, living in these niggas' thoughts. Direct deposit work well. I can tweet and Instagram all day. And then, um, you know, he went on to say, uh, someone said, you, you can't, you have responsibilities, you can't quit. He said, yeah, part of the reason I quit, I ain't playing with these ungrateful ass culture no more, taking my talents elsewhere. And then also he said, someone asked him, you really retire? He said, no, I quit, LOL, difference. I don't want my jersey in the stands. Do not want my face in promo clips, no trailers, nothing. I got a bad taste in my mouth from this shit. He also said, once I realized niggas really can't fuck with me, if I give a fuck, I stop giving a fuck. Handing niggas a half clip, you start leaving the Draco in the house. Handling niggas with a half clip. Basically saying what, once I started beating people, or to himself, having debatable battles, with people with two rounds, he stopped leaving, he stopped coming out the house with a full clip. Which is the reason why I said in a lot of these battles, he didn't even have a third round. Like, not, not he had a third round and he stumbled over it, or he couldn't get through it. You see people who do that. Like on certain people, like Rum Nitti had a third versus K Shot. He stumbled, he fumbled, he got to a point where he stopped, but then he got it back and he fought through the round. That's having a third round. Not having a third round is rapping 12 bars and then freestyling and then ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Jersey. That's not, he didn't, he doesn't have, he's not coming with a third round. So if he stops, I respect it because don't play with it like the culture like don't play with battle rap if it's something that you're not going to give you 100 percent and you know that this is something you don't want to do he's got mad other ventures he's got music he can move on and do shit like that but don't come and battle john john and don and give a half-assed performance versus him because he gonna send you up there you 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 really gonna lose to him like that ain't even no thought like i don't even put no thought in that if you battle john john and don and you know, say that you're gonna bring him half the clip, which is a half the Draco, the Draco not full, or the Drake, the Drake, Drake, motherfucking Drake. You're gonna bring him half the Draco, whatever uh, language that you wanna use. He's gonna send you, he's gonna get you out of here. He's gonna give you a, a, a grand farewell. So, with that being said, Sue Surf has been the reason why he survived and been able to keep battling battle for battle for battle for battle and give this product that he's been given is because nobody aired him out. Like he never got uh, Jack Boy Main, you want your chain back nigga, go get it. He never got body like John John did chess. He never got body body like that. Even in the battle with Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux won, but he didn't body him. Like it wasn't a whole body like a, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Like it wasn't like that. And nobody has done that. So when that doesn't happen, you give someone the area to wiggle out and then to be able to argue that they won the first two rounds and then he's got a strong ass fan base, a strong fan base that's gonna come through and argue the same points. It makes it a lot to deal with. And I said, as what I do, as far as with this channel, myself, Showtime SP, I said, I, 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 I'm not giving, if somebody's not rapping a whole round, I'm not giving them the round. And if the battle was 1-1 going into the third, 
I'm just gonna pick the other person. Like that, that I think we have to have some kind of a standard. And I rock with 40. And I rock with Sue Surf, you know. But she said earlier that she felt like a lot of people was trying to discredit her win. And I said, uh, I tweeted to myself, I said, uh, I know I tweeted to her, I said that uh, my thoughts remain the same. Like I never changed who I had. Because she said earlier that people was, uh, she said still winning on the app. I said, was you winning a legit question though? She said, I see mad people trying to discredit my win even after the fans had two separate opportunities on caffeine and URL to pick a winner. I said, I F with both of y'all heavy. I'm not biased. I watched it twice and did two recaps, but my decision remains the same for you respectfully. And this all started when somebody said, I'm mad that I can't get my $500 back. And I said, if you bet on someone who's known to not come with three rounds, you deserve to lose it respectfully. Like if you, <laughs> you deserve to lose it. Like why, why would you, why would you bet on somebody? And I, like I said, I fuck with surf the long way, man. No, no homo. But I'm not betting on somebody that's known to not come with three rounds. Why would you do that? Like, why? What, what, I never heard of it. Why would you do that? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What possessed you? What, what, what made you think that that would be a smart decision? I can't. I, I'm trying to figure out what was you thinking about, partner. But uh, you know, if he does retire, he's got music. He's got other ventures that he can move on to. But the battle rap culture and battle rap fans and battle rap you know media and battle rap leagues they all deserve someone who's going to get cuz there's 100,000 MCs that's out there willing to lay it all on the line for this money that these guys are getting these guys ain't getting paid like the super super top tiers we talking about 15 20 25 30 a battle what and there's people out there battling for free Giving their all, like these cats in these tournaments, they not even really getting paid that much to battle round for round in these tournaments, and they laying it all on the line. There's no, there's no need to waste time. I'm just, I don't feel like, and I feel like, I don't feel like there's a need to waste time where if you're not gonna give it your all, you shouldn't even be involved. It's like in the NBA, it's like basketball. You know, when we see players that get to a certain part in their career. And they get up there in the years, and you just see them around collecting a contract, just being on a team, not scoring what they. Nobody wants to see a superstar turn to a role player, turn to the last guy on the bench. You know what I'm saying? We'd rather, if a superstar regresses a little bit and they're not a superstar no more, when they're not at that level, we'd rather see them go out on top. We do, as, a, as an NBA fan, you don't want to see LeBron go from MVP level to scoring 13 points a game to playing 15 minutes a game and scoring six points and then sitting on the end of the bench like Juwan Howard did for all of them years. We don't want to see that. I would rather see them leave at the top of their game. You know, if you don't, if you don't feel like it's in you anymore, don't waste people's money, don't waste people's time. And like I said, this is no hate. You know, this is not it. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to shine, but they don't want to grind. You know what I'm saying? They want to shine. They don't want to grind. Like, they don't want the grind and everything that comes along with it. And you got MCs out there that are willing to lay it all on the line to be able to take the opportunities that a lot of people, including Surf, have been taking for granted for quite some time now. This ain't new. And I'm not even mad. Like, the thing is, I'm personally not mad at Surf that it's came to this point. The leagues have been put, the league, not leagues, ugh, URL has been putting up with this shit for so long from smack with the I can't eat that I can't eat that But then you continue to eat that you know what I'm saying it's like uh, a lot of y'all are fake in one minute It's our salami alaikum two minutes later. It's where's my salami bacon niggas where the product they're making requires rocking the apron They lies cuz it's Betty Crocker they making that's that old grab shit But yeah, you you you, you saying you don't eat it But you you do eat that shit my nigga like you've been eating that shit over and over and over again And that's the reason why it got here that's the reason why. And if he wouldn't have said he quit, and I don't think he, and overall, I don't think he's gonna quit. Cause when that next bag comes along, you're gonna see that nigga on another car versus JC or John John or some shit like that any motherfucking way. But I don't think it's a main event battle. At this point, I don't think that if you put him on a car, it's a main event battle. No, maybe the second one down or some shit like that. But main event, nah, not so much. But um, you know, still like his music. As a person, he's dope too, you know what I'm saying? He's been able to build his persona and get himself to a certain level. But a lot of niggas is calling him Adrian Broner now. You know, Adrian Broner did a lot of the same shit. He did a lot of this, 
but the hands wasn't like that and he got exposed more than once and now Adrian Broner I, I haven't seen him fight in quite some time and it is what it is but you already know what to do and what it does so you gotta ask what it was RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise you heard me right dang you heard me Jersey I already know that I can cuff you on my cheetah hey uh, stick up, this to all my exes, I let go, I don't miss ya Put your flexion sticks like show, we gon' get ya Pussy got me out of this world if I kiss ya Put some respect on your name if I hit ya Middle school, inner school, tryna get a lissa If it's up, then it's stuck, slide, I won't dish ya You gon' get your bitch fuck good just for dissing I can take my nigga nowhere, they mess up the kitchen Y'all be Papa Perky, ain't never had prescription Pussy so wet, might drown, might slip in